This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focus on yourself. That's what it is. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AQ, and I'm back with another reaction for you guys today. And the video that we're going to do a reaction today was sent to me from one of my subscribers. And the title of the video is She met a guy on a dating show. He stood her up on the second date and she's ready to meet a new guy. So with no further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hi, honey. How are you? Yeah, this is your first time here, babe? No, this is my second time. I was on a few months ago. Okay, what's your update? So, um, I did. Um, well, first, how are you? First and foremost, let me not be rude. All right, you're fine. Right, you can just go right into the story, but I'm well. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. So, I did go on a date with, um, actually, all right. So, one guy I did go on a date with from your show. And he was cool and whatnot. We went on two dates in, in general. The second date, I don't even know if I should call it a date, but I invited him out to where I was. And he stood me up, Kendra. He didn't even show up. Did he respond and say anything? Yeah, after I contacted him because it was a huge event. Uh, a networking event that I told him I'm actually going alone because he said that he had to go somewhere first. And I said, well, you don't have to meet here. Like, we can actually meet up another day if we're both too busy. So he was like, no, 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 I'm coming. And you needed a ticket to get into the event. So I already had my own ticket. I didn't need, you know, he just had to get his. He got his ticket. But he ended up staying longer at the event that he was at, and he never, like, had intentions on coming. I had to text him, like, listen, I'm here. You know, I work in media, so I'm networking, so I don't care or whatnot. But my thing is, it's the principle. You know what I'm saying? And he's probably watching right now, so if he called in, whatever. But, <laughs> yeah, he um he know who he is. I ain't even going to put his picture or his name on blast, but he didn't even show up. But it was cool. Um, a few other guys DM'd me, but I wasn't really attracted to them. But you know, I'm still keeping hope alive. I'm still, you know. Look, it sounds like Buddy smashed on the first date. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> she give it up on the first night. Look. It's the reality, man. That's why he's not really excited to go on a second date with her. She's now a second option to him. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes a dude could probably be more focused on getting new pussy than to... Shorty was all right, man. I'm going to get out shorty later type shit. That's what it's sounding like. The way she's acting and... You know, she's pretty mad because he didn't put her first after she gave him the box. That's just what it's sounding like. Okay. So that guy, so you want to do it again? Oh, yeah. That's I'm downloading the app too, girl. Okay, let's, I'm downloading. let's get into it from the top. What's your name, baby? Camille. Okay, they're asking me, was you crying? Oh, no, no, no. I have my contacts in, so I put my solution in. Okay. Okay, that's what everyone's like. Was she crying? Was she in a sauna? Okay, oh. <laughs> but real quick with that update. So, did y'all ever talk after that? Yes, he still hits me up. He's wanting another chance. But my thing is, if a man texts you more than he calls you, he's not taking you serious. And on top of that, he never really gave me a genuine apology. But my thing is, even if he did genuinely apologize, I'm still. You know, I'm still like over it because once you disrespect my time, especially when I never did that to you and I never disrespected your time, you don't deserve my time. So that part, I think I agree with that. All right, let's take it. You ain't going to lie. It sounds like bro smash. And look, fellas, this is the life of a bird. Pay attention. She just 
met a dude on the show. It didn't work out. Now she's back on the show looking for new dudes. And here's the thing about women like her. They give up the pussy super fast. As soon as they meet a dude that they are attracted to, give him some pussy. Oh, it didn't go that well. Fuck him. Let me find another guy. So now she's back on the show to do the same thing. That's how these birds operate, fellas. That's why the most you could do is smash and dash, have your fun and move around. And dude probably peep. Like, damn, shorty mad easy. easy. So I could only imagine how many different dudes that she met on a dating app or on these type of shows. Facts. From the top. Camille, where do you live? I'm in New Jersey. New Jersey. You have any kids? Nope. No kids. Kids, how old are you? I'm about to be 34 in September. Okay. okay. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Um, and what do you do for a living? I work in public relations. All right. So we got Camille. Am I saying it right? Uh huh. Camille, New Jersey, no kids, 34, Libra. Um, never married, correct? No. Never married. Works in public relations. So what kind of guy are you looking for? Um, as I stated before, I'm looking for a man who's willing to be the best version of himself. Um, he doesn't, as long as he's respectful, he's responsible. Um, he knows what he wants out of life. He has a plan. He takes care of himself. He okay. What are your deal breakers? My deal breakers is, um... Basically, a temper, um, irresponsibility, any type of addictions, whether that's the alcohol, gambling, anything. Um, and we're back. The team is looking down the barrel of a 455. I would say also a man who doesn't keep his word, because as a man, your word is all you have. So, okay. As a human being, your word is what you have. Um, I feel that way. Um, yeah. Those are your deal breakers. Should he look a certain way? No, as long as he looks like he loves himself and he takes care of himself. I don't have a height requirement. I'm 5'4", so I'm already short. So I don't mind because when we lay down, we all come to the right places anyway. So <laughs> I'm just saying. But, you know, no height. Um, as long as he takes care of himself. I'm not saying I do go to the gym. I'm actually training to be a, a, a bikini competitor. So I love fitness. Those are one of my hobbies. And um, as long, I'm not saying that he has to be a gym rat because no, but as long as he takes care of himself, I do prefer a man who is physically active, who wouldn't mind going to the gym because I would want us to compete together in a way, in a fun way. But yeah, that, as long as- That takes a lot of discipline. To do those fitness competitions. This is my first one, girl. And this is for like an amateur bikini. So I'm still new. I'm still getting into it. But fitness is one of my hobbies. So I want to go through that experience, not only for the aesthetics, but so I can earn more discipline and take my fitness journey to the next level. And I like to challenge myself. And I'm also studying nutrition coaching. So I'm very immersed in the wellness space. Okay. And what about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Um, I don't have an exact amount on that. As long as you don't need me financially, just like I don't need you, you know? And as long as you're responsible, um, as long as you save, as long as you invest, I don't I don't have an a amount on it. Okay. okay. All right. So we got Camille, correct? Yes. Let's do the Kendra Cam. All right. Let me stand up. I'm sitting down. Let me know. Could you see me? All right. Okay. Well, you told us you're a fitness model, so I expect you to be, well, fitting your training to be in a bikini competition. Yeah. So I'm, I'm expecting awesome. your body to look good. Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely um, coming down. The last time I was on your show, I was just, just, just starting out. I was like 130. Now I'm 118. So... 
Yeah. Oh wow, you lost about what is it, twelve pounds? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations to you. So Camille, should he be in New Jersey? Um, I would prefer him to be in New Jersey or New York, but he doesn't have to be. Okay. Could he have kids already? Yes, he can. I would prefer no more than two children by two different women. Okay. No more than two kids by two different women. What's the age range you would like to date? Um, I want to stay between, I'm 33, so I want to stay between uh, 30 and 45. 30 and 45. Okay. Um, when was your last relationship? My last relationship ended in December 2023. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? November 2023 with my ex. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. <sighs> Look. See, my thing is this, right? When a woman is over the age of 30 with no kids... Usually women like that have a very high body count because they usually just date men type thing. And also they become very independent and it forced them to become very masculine type of women. That's the only thing that be shaky with women over 30 as far as dating because by force they become less feminine and less fun. And like I said, they usually date men casually but please leave your thoughts in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe i'm out peace